This lady became pregnant for this guy and wanted to abort it. The guy told her not to do so because he wants to father a child. After giving birth to a baby boy, he abandoned her and the child for this lady who has been taking care of him since he lost his job. Now, the baby mama has taken him to court to be compelled to take his responsibility. Because of that, he has gone crazy and asked the court to do a DNA test because his pastor said the two of them are not meant for each other. What the DNA test revealed will shock you. When I was pregnant, I think I told him and he said I should leave the baby, I should not remove it. And I said, okay. That was that. That was 2018. Okay. And I said, okay. Then he came to see my mom. And I went to see his family also. Then we did just more introduction. And I started staying with him. We stayed together for when, when I was when the baby was three months, I started staying with him till nine months. And I come back to my mom's place because, because the sickness is too much for me. So I came back to my mom. So my mom was taking care of me till I gave birth. Then I called him. I said, should I come back? He said I should stay in my mom's place for him, for the meantime. And then when the baby was two months, I did not see him again. He did not come. I was not like, what is happening? Then I later find out that he's, he impregnated another person. Since then, from since I've not seen him, I did not even see him again. Since 2020. So, yeah. Do you call him? No. I don't have, I don't have his phone. My man was out. Mm -hmm. And when I was getting out, so she, let me just say, maybe two to his um, Dating, so she just comes to her, she's pregnant, and I was like, We are pregnant, oh, no problem, we can leave it because girl has not told her she's pregnant before, they can leave it. But after some reason, since but you could leave it, what do you mean by but you could leave it, or maybe you could keep the baby? I don't know, and each time I came closer to her, I knew her, I put her somewhere around up here. And once I go go back, go to the work, she refer to the hospital. Or we start spending money on and then like I noticed that in three times. Before I now called her mom, she come and pick her. Because before I did that, the pastor have already told me before like, this girl I want to put him as even then told her in a prayer, she's not she's not we are not we are not going to marry. What? Like, she's not my type. <laughs> Wait, wait, time out, man. How can your pastor tell you that a chick is not your type? That's crazy. Yo, matter of fact, <laughs> low key, the pastor probably been hitting it, man. It might be his kid. Nah, this is crazy right here, man. I'm going to do this. Before, before then, it was when she was pregnant. That's my attitude to the pastor. What's that you saying? that? I'm not supposed to marry her. I'm not even supposed to come close to her. I'm not even supposed to climb her for me before she might get pregnant. That even the way she's seen it, even the way God is seeing it, I think not sure if it's what he's seen, but I should just go and wait, go and continue to marry the baby. But he's giving me a chance that after five years, a big secret will get. After five years, a big secret will come out. I was like, okay, no problem. But after when she gave birth, when she gave birth, so then, if I'm working, I'm not seeing it. Different things start to happen. Even the place I'm working, they start to work about seven places. They start to me. Even up to me, I'm talking to you. I have nothing. This is how I am since so being up to now. And she, I went and I called her on the phone and asked her the and did this thing that happened to me. She only see on me. Tell me, I say, am I, am I not denying the baby? Am I actually, I don't talk like this. I'm just like, confusing. Talk to me like this. This is not, look at this one, I'm scotting my phone. Before I go back, before I was like, removing this to I've already, I'm dancing her before, before she traveled. Okay. So, 
after mm-hmm. after as I mm-hmm. had to send for my room as I wish she was as we are of that. Wait, this is now before you went after her. Mm-hmm. Wait, this is now then you went to impregnate her. No, she's not your species. And this time you now said she's not your species. <laughs> <laughs> I said, so before I was I was that first of all she will look for apartment for me that she was taken to her father in the Korean apartment for me so that I would start coping from there. What happened to the caption though? Hold on, let me see if I could. Hold on, let me see if I could. Damn. I might need that caption. Damn. So, Cindy, I'm pregnant, and she had been pregnant before I find her dead. I know. I do not. I don't know. I don't know how to say to me. Everything was easy for me, Cindy. Every time I plan to buy the baby something or do something for the baby, I get to be lost. So I have to run. <laughs> oh, you said you were dating her. Were you aware that you were dating her? No, I was not aware. That's a lie. But you two said no. It should be said that she's not aware. Or you mean she's, 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 she knew? But she knew that we are dating. Okay. So you knew each other. We all know. We knew each other. We are often. We are all. We are friends. Let me say she is a junior sister to one of our friends. Okay. Please, ma. Can you let me talk? Yeah, yeah, go with this. So this was how the story began. I did not know. So when he came, he was not like, eh, hey, okay, that my friend not tell me that. The baby she's carrying belongs to me. And I said, he can't tell me that. So when he came, he was like, hey, we'll talk about it at home. Then he has already called me and narrated the story about him and her, how she was pregnant. And sometimes if he called me, I normally say money to him. Then he was working in one hotel that his sister took him to. And when they also sent him off. So when I came back, he told me he was sleeping outside. I said, your junior, your middle sister sent you outside again. He said, yes. I said, this is a lie. So I had to go down to a gig. And we both slept outside, inside the cold. So now I said, is this also where the girl that got pregnant for you slept? He said, yes. Before he called, I'm only to come and pick her. Okay, and I told him, fine. Then I picked my phone and I called my dad. And your daddy send us money. We want to rent house, not my boyfriend. So my daddy sent us money. And so that day, we rented the house. And you started living together? I didn't start living with him. I just normally come and go. Right. But he rented an apartment. So his sister that sent him house did not know how he got the money to rent the apartment. She just showed up one day and was like, the girl that gave back that has a baby for him was coming inside. Like, Before then, I've not gone to go with you. So I went back to go and meet her. I don't know the girl you're talking about, but this house, my daddy rented it for both of us. So if he wants to live with someone else, he will have to go and rent her own house for her. But the day I now got to go with her, I knew she was the one. Then I faced him and I told him that, you told me she's junior, junior sister, and you're not leaving you for her. That was what I told him. And then already, I was already pregnant. I didn't tell him. So when this senior sister came back again, my pregnancy was two months. She wanted to throw me out of the house that I rented myself. And I told her that I am pregnant. She has her own baby. If she knows she wants to get married, if she knows she wants to get married to him, she should also support him the way I am supporting him. Damn. And since that time we both carry the cross, that is the no. Eventually, you opted for a DNA test. Yes, sir. Right? It's because you want to ascertain the paternity of the baby. You are aware of that? Yes. You are aware of that? Are you aware of that, sir? Yes. Okay. Judy, if the baby turns out to be yours, too, you take up your responsibility as a father. Yes. I am. You share all the love. And K, want to say something? Mm. 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 Mm
He will not. He will not. He will. If he has no. the power. Let me explain to you. He's the one talking to the court. Let me explain to you. I'll go to the moral aspect of what you have done, which I complain in all totality. You were dating her. And you cheated on her. That's what you did. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This chick right here held this dude down, man. She gave him a place to stay. She got she got him back on his feet pretty much, man. She legit held this dude down all the way, man. Now, see, a dude like him, man, he a bum, though. Because this dude ain't got his own place. But he getting a bunch of chicks out here pregnant. Bad move, fellas. That's just gonna set you back in life. The first thing a man got to do when he move out his mom's place or his parents' place is get his own place, man. Get you a job and get your own place. This dude was homeless, and this shorty right here had to give this man a place to stay. And then he's so sloppy, he got her pregnant, and then he got this other chick. Well, I don't know if it's his baby, though, because it could be the pastor baby. But nah, this is a crazy story, though. Michelle's the huff for holding it down. But somehow, probably based on the love she had for you, she stood by you. And she even accepted the baby. And she's almost still saying it now. That she's ready to still be a mother Man. to that child. But you. I prevented her. It's telling me that even if the baby is yours, they're not going to take care of that baby. Is that what you said? It's because they're not out. That's what she said too. But if you have a job, I will take care of the baby problem. Because if that baby is yours, you've got to love that baby. And you have to work towards giving the baby the best in life. It's your choice. He knew the implication when you went after him. You know, you needed to have taken precaution. <laughs> Why didn't you? You know what the implication is. If you don't take that precaution, that's the result you have now. Where's the results? So, Let's see what's going on, man. Can we have the DNA results? Please. Your yeah, Honor, this is the result of the DNA. To determine the biological father of Chica Prince, uh -oh. needs DNA and Medical Diagnostic Center has helped to facilitate a DNA paternity test. Is that right? I want you to confirm. Thank you. So this result I'm holding was prepared by DNA Diagnostic Center in Ohio, USA. And what we have in here is that this is to certify that the result of DNA test conducted for Christian Chukudi Anthony and the minor child, Chica Prince Anthony, has been perfectly analyzed as concisely summarized below. Damn, she dragging this shit, man. Come on. We have the case number, the child mail. Oh my God. That's Chica, Chris Anthony, alleged father, Chris <laughs> and Chukudi Anthony. Yo, she read every fucking letter. Like, come on, lady, come on. And the DNA analysis. Okay. Negative. The above result summary shows that Christian Chukudi Anthony is not the biological father of the blessed nature. Yo. God damn. Why do chicks do this shit, man? 
You know down well who the child real dad is, man. So you're gonna waste the people time? That's crazy. Okay. So so Esther, do you have anything to say? Did you ever get it okay? Did you? Oh, you're quiet. Stop this now. With this virgin there? No. I'm not the one of the child. Who's the one of the child? Because the reason why I said it's not the one of the child is that 2017. Is not that I me. Then he traveled. I did not see. Are you aware of that? You did not know about that before. But you did appear. Because he right. traveled. Did not know when she was the first in the When I just. When when I I I did she ever discuss what is virgin to? She never discussed it. Don't continue. I just say what happened virgin. But when I meet her, she will talk. Nah, this is crazy, right? The bottom line is apparently like. It's not his baby. That's the bottom line. I'm not quite sure what just transpired at the end. But, man, this is a crazy story right here, man. This is crazy. Why do chicks go to go through all this shit when they know damn well they've been out here thotting, man? It's crazy, man. Let me know what y'all thought about this, man. This one was wild. This is a wild one right here. No, that's crazy.